Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got some videos from Tiki Taki. I think uh, our movement's blowing up again. Passport Bros. Uh, a lot more content. More clips from TLC that more women are stitching. Uh, it is uh, going a second viral, third viral. I don't even know how what, what round of viral virality we are at, but let's get to it. Please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get to that Chow. It's Chow Time. Passport pros. Can you explain that to me again? So like, I'm okay. I'm not like a hundred percent sure. I just started like started seeing it on TikTok, but it damn, I kind of it makes me sad when I see clips like this of Asian guys like trying to explain it, but they're not in the movement or they don't know what's going on, and just like they always fumble things. So it's like when guys, I think it's particularly in the states, like they they leave to go to like South. East Asia or just Asia. So many people are going to Southeast Asia. Yeah, to yeah. like find wives there and then bring them back. Like they... find. No, well, see, like he fucked it up. He fucked it up. Like, come on. Passport bros just want to find nice women, nice women that are gonna willing to support and take care of the things that men want to be taken care of. You know, it's not about like every, we always want to say submissive, submissive doesn't really matter. We're looking for nice women. As long as they're nice to us and they have family orientation in mind, we're good. We're good. And we're not planning on bringing them back to the States or anything either. So again, I hate it when, uh, new boys get into the, 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 the conversation and they don't truly know what's going on. And then they kind of fucking fumble it, which, which kind of like this is. Find like a Vietnamese girl or like a Filipino girl and then like bring them back. Yeah, it was, it was something to do with how like they couldn't find partners here because they're all too like woke feminist or whatever. I see that happening though. Mm. That's the thing. It's so sad. But I see that happening. It's not okay. just for, for Asia too. I think that's just generally they go to South yeah, Asia. But yeah, it's like yeah. Everywhere. Even China too. A lot of people come to China. Maybe for work or for something. Mm, but yeah. then they like focus on like Chinese girls or like Asian girls. You know mm. what I mean? If you went to a country, of course you kind of got to focus on that country's women. That's most of the women that's there. <laughs> it's what well, like you you can't go to an Asian country and expect to find white people and date a lot of white people or you know of other races. It just doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. I think for them they might be they might think it's like easier, which is disgusting, guys. Like uh, stop. No. I like that. No. Yeah. I think it's easier mm. in the sense that like Eastern like countries haven't caught up with like the level of correctness that yeah. uh, Western countries have. What do you mean correctness? Political correctness. So then they're not. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. I see. I see. I agree. Mm. Passport pros. She agrees. This one's been going viral and it's a TLC one, which they always get like the stupidest, dumbest men. And like this guy doesn't even represent passport bros, really, in my opinion. Normally and typically in an Arab household, the man usually is the provider financially, um, and that's just how it is. Um, that is just something I wasn't uh, prepared for. This is what I tell you, men. If you're going to these countries, that is actually what is expected. They're, you're not expecting 50-50. They're not expecting too much. The, the women will help with businesses and things like that, but they're not out there you know career wise or making their own money like that like that's why men need to still level up this is why I, this guy doesn't really represent passport bros because he's a fucking idiot fucking idiot most arab women expect that just like most american people expect the woman to contribute yeah like you went to a place to be more traditional that that was the traditional role like you're a oh, okay. but, just, but, just you're, you're, but you're not dealing with an American woman. No, but so. they, she'd have to deal with some of my things though too. This was definitely not what I wanted to hear. I thought Moroccan women prioritize family. Over they do. Material things. And I but they still expect to be taken care of. Like most women do. Like men going over there thinking that they can just like find a wife that also makes money and go 50-50. You guys are fucking idiots. Fucking idiots. Like, this guy should have just stayed in the U.S. and just get fucking destroyed by the Western women because, like, you're going about this and you're just ruining it for other men. That This is why women from other places probably don't even want to deal with men like you because they think that, you know, you're not going to be a provider for them. I was 
was not anticipating that it would mean I have to be the sole provider for a household. If I didn't sign up for this. This is what I tell you, man, what you're signing up for. If you aren't to do this, you're going to be taking care of shit. That's why you need to level up, you know? It is what it is. Women have a problem with submission because they view it as it's, as it's something that's negative. Yep. No. You should be able to submit to your man because you should be able to trust enough in his leadership. And a lot of the times when you men say like, oh, I don't want you going to a bar, I don't want you going to a club, it's because you're a fucking man. You know yep. what happens there. You know that- Exactly! <laughs> we know how other men think. We know how, men, how dirty men can be and how disgusting they can be and how forceful they can be and how dangerous they can be in certain settings if they're drunk. And that's the exact setting that you're setting yourself up into. How how can a man be just like, go on, babe. Knowing all those dangers. You know that men there just want to fuck or there's weirdos that want to put shit in your drinks or there's drama or it's just a whole ass environment that you can't be there to protect your female if it came down to it. Damn you would right. have to live with that guilt. You know what I mean? She gets assaulted and you can't do nothing about the man that did that to her. You would live with that. And women don't understand that. They think it's control. No, your man's being a protector, as he should. And as a woman, you should respect it. You should honor the fact that your man can see the dangers that you can't. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Women have a problem with... Solid advice. Solid advice. This message is for the passport bros. Yes. I was talking to my mother the other night. Mm -hmm. And I was explaining to her what the movement was about. She had never heard of it. Did you screw it up? And, you know, after I gave her the explanation of why men are leaving westernized countries to find wives elsewhere. Uh-huh. Or even love elsewhere. Or dating elsewhere. Uh-huh. Um, she said, oh, my God. You know, I have a friend her son is doing that very thing Ooh. and basically having the best time of his life. Hmm. He is dating the most beautiful, wonderful women that treat him the way women used to treat men. Ooh. He meets their families and the families absolutely adore him. Mm -hmm. They shower him in food and cakes and pies very kind and loving and open to him yeah i'm not well, I'm a fan of pies but i'll take the cakes very unlike a lot of situations you find here in the united states um there's one woman in particular that he's more serious about now and she washes his feet i know that might sound extreme but why shouldn't you wash someone's feet that you care about um she does his laundry she's friendly fit and fun mm. all, all of that stuff that u.s women you know claim is subservient or demeaning or you shouldn't do that for a man that's I mean, true insane so my mom was saying that he is just so happy and having such a wonderful time over there you know he doesn't want to get married right now, and why should he? You don't have to become a passport bro just to go over and snag a wife. Maybe you just want to date for a while and have a positive dating experience. Oof. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't want men to be just going out there and just... You know, slaying women or just dating women left and right and not have the mindset of marriage. That to me, I'm not a fan of. If these men are going to be dating and experience positive dating, at least have the mindset of marriage. Don't be just having fun because you're just doing the exact same thing that you would be doing in the West. Why bother going over there and ruining their women and putting more body counts on their women just because you want to have a positive experience this is kind of like bullshit to me at least this part everything else was pretty cool was I, I i couldn't have no issues about it but her saying this telling other men to go like you, you she's setting up these other countries to get screwed over too so i don't agree with that before you find the woman of your dreams so I support this 100%. If I had a son. At least she supports. This is exactly what I would tell him to do. Ooh. I would encourage him 
to do some type of profession where it could be done remotely mm -hmm. and you can travel anywhere in the world with your computer and make money. So I, I think good it's advice. wonderful and I support the Passport Bro movement 100%. And if anyone ever needs a letter of reference, hit me up. This message is... <laughs> hey, if you guys need a letter of reference, uh, she might, you know, give you a reference. These niggas are lame, yo. Like, the men that are, like, actually amazing entrepreneurs and educated and financially, you know, lit. Y'all lame. Like, for real. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, go on. And you know what? And, and people not... I say what I want and I do what I want, respectfully. So, I'm just... Like, the message is really for them, like... I salute you king like i'm proud of you but you was so lame coming up that now you're somebody and you're leading with that and a lot of these guys are leading because if you're a nobody you can't lead with anything <laughs> you have nothing like when you were finally a somebody yeah your status is part of your, your 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 image and everything so why wouldn't i use my status to get what i want <laughs> with it wrong each one teach one like i'm putting people on like you a pretty girl you might not have the best confidence y'all putting us all together we gonna boost you up we gonna make you like come on like i give away free mentorship all the time even though it costs but when god puts it on my heart i'm giving grace and i think a lot of these guys just talking are some just bullshit. like I don't even know. you know like their whatever. insecurity showing they're hiding behind their accolades hiding behind your act that's what women are doing now what the hell are you talking about Oh, I got a college degree. I have a master's degree. I'm a freaking whatever, whatever. This is what women are leading with. And men don't care. <laughs> men are leading with this because women care. <laughs> hey, TikTok. I have a confession to make. Over the past few days, multiple news articles have come out. I'm in contact with Vice and New York Post, so more on the way. And before they do, I want to tell you guys the truth. When you see me hanging out overseas with beautiful Colombian or Asian women, people have suspected for a long time that these women are being paid or they're poor and educated looking for a come up. Mm -hmm. The truth is, she went to Cambridge and she has her own money. Truth is, dating in America is probably the worst place in the world to date as an American man. Some yep. women in the West are taught men ain't shit and masculinity is toxic. At the same age as some women in other countries are taught the little things you can do to help a man feel heard and respected. Like yeah, how right. boys are taught to open doors or give flowers to women. People need the passport bros to be losers or predators. Because mm -hmm. then they don't have to wonder why intelligent, successful, genuine men are leaving and having the time of their lives. The truth is, American dating culture has 50% single men, 50% divorce rate, 70% initiated by women. And it's the fault of American women and men. men. Some of these guys who are now obsessed with body count were pro hot girl summer, pro girl hoe phase because they thought they would get laid more. And when it backfired on them, they switched sides. The yep. truth that none of these articles want to talk about is that almost every man who leaves the American dating scene will come back and report that it is dramatically different and so much better. Finally, Passport Bros was started by the black community, yet the media wants to paint me as the face for it. I don't know if it's because it fits better with their narrative of it being a product of colonialism. I feel really <laughs> grateful to be embraced by that community early on and seeing mm -hmm. all the support in my comments, but they should still give credit where credit is due. I am tired mm -hmm. of being misrepresented or misquoted in these articles, so if anyone knows of any good podcasts or somewhere I could do some long form interview viewer conversation please let me know or tag them below thank you guys for everything follow me i got good, good shit <laughs> hey shout out to the black community the black manosphere that started it and uh, built it up i mean uh, i agree black gentlemen did start the passport bro movement and everybody else was able to adopt and somewhat mostly okay like welcomed in i did get a little bit of pushback earlier when i first started but now everybody's welcoming everybody which I i'm proud to be part of this community so please like and subscribe down below would really appreciate it and i'll catch you guys next time Let's chat down.